A culinary clash is revving up here in the city of Toronto. I'm Jesse Palmer, and this is Food Truck Face Off. Over the next hour, four teams will compete for the ultimate prize, their very own customized food truck for one year. But before any of our teams can get behind the wheel, they'll have to impress an expert panel of judges that will select only two teams to battle it out. Here's the thing. Each of our teams may have a talent for cooking, but no one has ever set foot in a food truck before. All they have is this wild dream to own one. We're taking it one grill We're at a time. We're gonna kill it. We're here to start your day with a bang. And that dream will become a reality for the team that makes the most money over two frenetic days of selling. So which of our dreamers has what it takes? Get ready, because you're about to find out. This is Food Truck Face Off. Our four teams are about to pitch their food truck concepts and their food to our talented panel of judges. Atlanta radio personality and TV host, he knows how to dish on food, Steak Shapiro. Top TV judge and owner of Chicago's renowned restaurant, The Boarding House, Al Panasane. Deli King and Toronto's food truck pioneer, Zane Koplansky. Our judges will be looking for unique flavors, viable concepts, and solid presentations. So, let's meet the teams. First up, it's Kamoy and Carl. This food means a lot to us. It's right from our heart. The judges are just going to eat it up, literally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Carl. And I'm Kumoy. And we're from Modern, Modern Joe's, Joe's, where we're going to be serving some inspired sloppy sandwiches. Brr, come to Papa. So the first Joe that we're showing you, it's a West Indian sweet jerk chicken. And it has a bit of cinnamon in there, some nutmeg, a whole lot of cloves, and some coleslaw. And then this second Joe, it's a spicy Mexican sloppy Joe. It's chorizo, it's braised pork shoulder, bay leaves, Mexican oregano. All of our sloppy Joes are internationally inspired. It's a big part of our concept. These dishes work extremely well out of a food truck, but flavor-wise, Delicious on the Mexican Joe. A little bit too much going on on the sweet West Indian, but well done. Thank you so much for that feedback. I really like the combination of the flavors, mm -hmm. but I'd like to see just the basic sloppy Joe as part of my options. Okay. I think calling a sloppy Joe is a bit of a stretch. It's supposed to be sloppy, right? Just, it just needs to be pouring. It needs to be just all out there. Why a food truck? That's what I've always wanted to do. I grew up cooking all my life. It was my passion. My dad passed away when I was only four and a half, and my mom was there for me, but she had to work. I had my brothers, but like, I didn't want to eat their food, so that's how it all got started. We want to be out there working yeah. with people and just have people come to us. Modern Joe. We're gonna kick the competition Woo! in the booty. Yeah. <laughs> Twins bringing twice the fun. Here's Devin and Kayla. Between the two of us, we have 25 years of restaurant experience. And we can read each other's minds. What more could you want? What more could you want? <laughs> Hi, I'm Devin. I'm Kayla. And we're <laughs> New Twin Free. <laughs> <laughs> we are both celiacs, so our concept is a gluten-free environment, and we're trying to do street food. So you're twins, so who's older? Me, obviously. <laughs> Half an hour? So the first dish we have is Double Dogs. It is a gluten-free corn dog. It's served with a cornmeal batter that's mixed with a gluten-free flour and deep fried, then served with a spicy ketchup. The second dish is a parfait-style dessert called the Nafi, layered with a cookie crumble, toffee, bananas, whipped cream, and chocolate. When I hear gluten-free, I automatically think the taste is gonna be compromised. But, and I gotta say, your corn dog is pretty tasty. You would never think that you're eating something gluten-free or that you're eating something that's healthy, although I wouldn't call this healthier, per se. We never claim to be healthy. <laughs> right. <laughs> banoffee. What is banoffee? Banana, toffee, one word. <laughs> banoffee. We're having a hard time getting to the... Uh, I know, I'm struggling, too. Yeah. Like, I want the cookie. I, I can't know, get the cookie. I know, I know. The food is really solid, but it's not extraordinary. It's a corn dog. It's a banoffee pie. While I sympathize with your condition, are you <laughs> selling food off a truck or are you out there to like educate people? Why can't we do both? 
I feel like there's a need and it's just on both of our parts to do that for sure. There's a whole Toronto out there. They'll be the real judges. They'll be the real judges, <laughs> yes. With explosive energy, here's Jillian and Marisa. We've had this food truck dream for around four years. We have tons of passion. And then there's the obvious bombshell. Oh, fix the paper. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jillian. And I'm Marisa. And, and we are Bombshell Burritos. burritos. <laughs> we are here to start your day off with a bang with our signature breakfast burritos. Our first dish is the morning bang that has a cheddar and jalapeno sausage, some crumbled bacon, scrambled eggs, queso cheese, salsa, and hot sauce. And then we are serving the Canadian flavor bomb. This has scrambled eggs, Canadian oka cheese, maple bacon, maple sausage, green onion, and salsa. So you're a breakfast burrito truck all day long? Yes. Okay, so why not do other burritos? Why just breakfast? For all the people that are waking up at random times during the day, breakfast is still an option. I love the Canadian flavor bomb. I think that the sweet and savory always works really well mm -hmm. together. I love the flavor combinations, I really do. But it's watery. Yep, gotcha. And it's not appealing. I'm more inclined for the morning bang, but I wouldn't put you up for chef of the year. And there's enough business just to do breakfast. There's all these people going to work. They're going to these major coffee chains. They're buying really crappy breakfast burritos, mediocre muffins. And no one's even getting a real breakfast to start their day with. So this is something you can grab and go. It's a whole meal or the whole package. We think it went really well down there. Yeah, yeah, for the most part. <laughs> chop, chop, grill, grill. Here's Alon and Emma. We've both been in the service industry for a really long time. We're going to grill it, we're going to kill it, and we're going to serve it up to everybody. <laughs> Okay. Oh. oh. Toronto, put your hands together for Fit to Grill! <laughs> I'm Alon. And I'm Emma. And, and we are Fit, fit to, to Grill. grill. <laughs> Today we have two dishes for you guys to try. We have our beer braised short ribs in a lettuce wrap. Inside of it is deer, carrots, celery, and onions. We also have our grazing lamb stuffed pita. It's a garlic yogurt dressing, watercress, mint, basil, and then marinated lamb. I love grilled food. I love barbecue as well. If I wanted to bring a little bit of a healthy mix into it. How do you make meat more healthy? Use leaner cuts of meat. Short ribs are a fatty meat, so I don't know how it fits into your whole fit to grill component, but the texture on the short ribs is great. Instead of having your fast food kind of take on things, we're trying to spin it a little bit more health conscious, a little bit more fresh. I just don't know the delivery mechanism here is a great mechanism, but I think you got the most important part down, which is the flavor of the beef. What kind of lamb did you use in the lamb grazing stuffed pita? It's lamb loin. Delicious, works really well. I think it's a great dish. Thank, Thank you. you. But this lamb here is kind of chewy. Okay. Why should we put fit to grill through the next round? Because we give you food with attitude. Growing up, my parents were always like, become a doctor, become a lawyer. The only one who actually promoted me cooking was my grandmother. I'm a sous chef at a popular restaurant right now, and I just want to build my name. I'm front of house. I've managed bars and restaurants. I think that owning a truck, we're going to take Toronto by storm. I think our pitch went pretty well. Fingers crossed. I think we did good. All right, judges, you now have to choose the two teams who will face off on the streets of Toronto. All right, let's talk about Modern Joe's. That is food truck worthy food right there. They almost have a great recipe, but they were afraid to make it sloppy. I think the Sloppy Joe as a format works beautifully. Glute twin free. That corn dog is pretty tasty. But is anybody clamoring for gluten free food trucks? Well, there are, but I don't know if there's enough people who are clamoring for it. The bombshell burritos. Everybody digs a breakfast burrito. That's what they're serving. As a matter of fact, it's the easiest food that I can picture eating. Just, you know, grab and go. I didn't like the way the eggs were scrambled, which is a major component in a breakfast burrito. So let's talk a little bit about Fit to Grill. Oh, yeah. He's a rockin' dude that knows what good food is about. I did like the braised short rib lettuce wrap, but it's not substantial enough. I think they could work really well together. Well, all right, guys, you feel like you made a decision? Yeah, we sure have. All right, teams, the judges have tasted your food and they've assessed your presentations, but only two of you will get to move on and compete for your dream to own your very own food truck. So judges, who's staying and playing and who's going home?
<laughs> so judges, who's staying and playing, and who's going home? Well, this team has some real culinary skills. Our first team to compete will be... Fit to Grill. Yes! <laughs> yes! We did it! We're going to the next round! It's crazy. I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> so, judges, who's the second team to move on to the streets of Toronto? This team has food that just really works well on a food truck. The second team to compete is... Modern Joe's. <laughs> We made it! Amazon! Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you, really. Gluten free, bombshell burritos. Thank you so much for your pitches, guys, but unfortunately, you won't be moving on any further. <laughs> now that our teams are chosen, it's time for them to face off on the streets of Toronto. Modern Joe's, Fit to Grill. Yeah. Well, I've got something that I know you're both gonna wanna see. Your trucks, here they are. That is awesome, oh, I'm so excited. Holy, yes, oh, that's awesome, honey. Well, go on and check them out. Open it up. We're Woo. open for business. <laughs> Woo. This is where the sloppy Joe magic is going to happen. It's perfect. Yeah, this is we're exactly gonna kill what this. we needed. <laughs> we have exactly what it takes to make it in the culinary industry because we have the total package here. I was a server and a bartender. I was trained at school for the chef management program, and since then I've just been cooking, and really that's all I know how to do. We've been a couple now for five years. We cook quite often at home together. I have love for her, I have love for my family, and I have love for food. Uh, my grandma, though, was a really big influence in my life. Uh, she was the one who really taught me how to cook, and I really want to show her that I did it. So his grandmother passed away a few years ago, and uh, it's hard not to be able to share your joy with, you know, somebody that you miss so much. The passion and the love comes from my grandmother. Getting this food truck would mean the world to us. You know, it would it would be the start to our life. All cooks and chefs get into this business for one reason or one reason only, to have something they could call their own. We got this. Love it. <laughs> oh my God, I love oh. this truck. We originally met on our internships in a kitchen. We went to school and studied culinary arts. Since then, we just really connected and we're best friends now. I grew up in a single mother household. She raised four boys by herself. I grew up in a single mom household, but she raised four girls by herself. When my dad passed away when I was four and a half, I started cooking because my mom, she worked from seven to seven. She didn't have time to cook for me and my brothers. And it's just something I always did for my family. Cooking has been part of my life since I was little. I grew up in Jamaica with my grandmother, and I came to Canada when I was eight with my mom. I had to kind of be the oldest to say, hey, I'm gonna go in the kitchen and see what I can do. Having my own business has always been my dream. I want it so bad. I've always wanted to be on the streets, driving a food truck. We think Toronto is ready to get sloppy. You've got two big days of selling ahead of you, and here's how it's gonna work. Whoever makes the most money will win their truck, but we're not gonna reveal your total earnings until the two sell days are over. Today, we're heading to the distillery. It's a pedestrian village full of boutiques, restaurants, and cafes. This is where you're gonna be competing truck to truck. All right. You've got only a couple hours now left until lunch starts. What do you guys still need? Food. Food, <laughs> food of course. <laughs> so you're gonna have 30 minutes to shop and buy all of your ingredients from the store behind you. Think very carefully about what you have to buy. 
Today we're going to be serving up our sweet West Indian Joe, which is $10, and we're serving the spicy Mexican Joe, which is $11. We're also going to be serving a wheat berry salad for $4. Today we will be serving the braising lamb stuffed pita for $9, the short rib lettuce wrap for $8. We'll also be serving the Holy Trinity fries, which is julienne potatoes and the deep fryer for $4. The shopping starts now! These will be fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, grab the sweet potato. Yeah. Get the green onion. Oh, yeah. And the corn. I got the romaine. I'm grabbing one more. Celery. Shoot. Get out of my way. I can't find the short ribs. Emma, I can't find the short ribs, so we're going to go with the tenderloin instead, OK? What? Oh, my god. Just got to keep going. We need our spices. Cinnamon, that'll do. All right, this is it, guys. One minute to go now. What? Holy <laughs> Where is the jerk Where the freak is the pork shoulder? Six. We gotta go, we gotta go. Five, four, go. three, go. 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 two, one. Time is up. <laughs> Definitely not enough time. It was insane trying to find everything we needed. Hey, this is not good, Moya. I don't have the spices for my sweet West Indian. We actually didn't even get short ribs for the wrap. Uh, did we grab garlic by any chance? Oh, sh I got okay. garlic powder. Perfect. I got ribs because I couldn't find pork shoulder, so we're going to have to make do. Time for our teams to load up, hit the road, and start prepping at their first cell day location, the distillery district. All right. Do you even know where the distillery district is? Yeah, 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 don't worry. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> food truck awareness. I'm the worst driver. I don't drive cars or trucks. I public transit it, and that's why she's driving. It's well, gotta be fast, yeah, right? For I sure. mean, our ticket times have gotta be two minutes or less. I don't want anybody waiting for No, fifth. no one's gonna wait. Maximum they might wait is three minutes. There yeah. it is. You're just so there. Perfect. We are here. This is awesome. We beat them here. Set to prep. That says no exit. Are we lost? That did say Broadview, right? So we get off the highway, and Carl tells me to make a right turn, and it's a dead end. I was reading that map, but it was very small, so it was hard to read. I think we're friggin' lost. This is gonna set us back. This is gonna set us back. You know how to reverse this I better. I suck at giving directions. Kamoi sucks at driving. It was a bad combination. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Ooh. Oh, okay, good. Go forward. Wait for me. Oh my God. Kamoi, what are you doing? Ready to sell some food. Let's do it, boo. <laughs> All right, hon, I gotta get the lamb going. What are we gonna do to make the lamb more tender, babe? I'm just gonna pressure cook the f out of it. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a beautiful thing. Hun, I gotta get the pilots going right now. Woo! Okay, distillery. Oh, we finally made it. I can't believe it. Modern Joes. Good? Yes. Modern Joes, fit to grill. Come on out. Woo! Woo! <laughs> All right, welcome to your first day of selling. Thank you. Yeah. Woo! You've got two hours to sell as much food and make as much money as you can. But today's not just about making money. Today is also about the judges. Oh man. They're gonna be assessing your food, your presentation, and your customer service. Now based on the judges evaluation, one team will be receiving a special advantage for tomorrow's final sell day. <laughs> you guys ready to do this? Yeah, we are. All right, well, get back on your trucks, to finish up your prep, because in a half hour, you're open for business. We took the judges' feedback, and we're going to get their shirts dirty. 
really sloppy. Today we'll be serving the spicy Mexican Joe. We're using pork back ribs because I was silly and didn't get the pork shoulder at the store, which is gonna cause problems because it's gonna take a lot of butchery. Just do your best, Carl. We're braising them in a pressure cooker with chorizo, chipotles, oregano, bay leaves. It's served on a nice and rich bun. And the Sweet West Indian is a take on a Jamaican jerk chicken. I don't have any allspice, I don't have any soy sauce, so I'm just like winging this recipe. It's not my grandmother's jerk, but it'll have to do. And we garnish it with a nice house-made uh, coleslaw. Our salad is completely changed today because I missed the wheat berries. We got basmati rice instead. So we're also going to be serving a tangy basmati bowl for $4. Carl, it's really like a pressure cooker in here. I know, I can see the steam coming off your forehead. Come on, I know we didn't get the short ribs that we were looking for, but we ended up getting the strip loin. I gotta cook the steaks to order. Big difference, but hey, I'll make it work. Today, we'll be serving a triple-A strip loin lettuce wrap with a spicy aioli and caramelized onions for $9. On pitch day, I didn't portion it out correctly. It's what they called us out for before. Well, we're gonna give them a whole ton of meat on there, so it shouldn't be a problem. Then I've got a grazing lamb open face pita with herb salad and uh, a nice garlic tzatziki. That's also gonna be $9. We also have a Yukon Gold sweet potato bird's nest fries for $4. I'm super excited, I'm ready to sell. We're ready to go. We, we are, are fit, fit to, to grill. grill. What, you coming to steal our ideas? I just came to see if you guys are almost done cooking. Oh, we're, we're golden. <laughs> Have a good one. They're only charging nine and eight dollars. So I went over and checked Fit to Grill's board and their prices were way cheaper than ours. We originally were gonna sell each individual small Joe for $11. I think we should give them two for 11. Two for, yeah, I like that. All right, teams, your two hour lunch sale starts now. Are you guys ready? Can I get a spicy Mexican for water? Sure. That'll be $13.50 for you. Okay. This feels amazing. People are walking up to us giving us real money for our food. <laughs> there we go. This is so much different than working in a kitchen. So tight in here and so chaotic. There you go. It's like the perfect amount of spiciness. That is delicious and it's all over me. I shouldn't have worn white today. Question here. So it'll be $17.50. Frank? Here you go, my friend. Thanks, my man. Don't get too much of it on your lovely shirt. Really nice, very tangy, good combination of the sweet and spicy type of thing, so really, really good. Hi, welcome. Can I get the braised lamb? One lamb and fries? Yep. Lamb and fries? There you go. It's amazing, you know, it's better than I was expecting from a food truck. Lamb is, you know, nice texture, great flavor, I love the greens. Could I get the strip point, please? One steak, babe. One steak. And we got steak up. That's amazing. It definitely tastes like it didn't come out of a food truck, well seasoned, very light, it's delicious. Uh, we got a steak and fries, please, baby. Steak and fries, no problem. Steak and fries coming up, yeah? Yeah. Well, I'm waiting on two steak and fries and one lamb and fries, yeah? Yeah. And then the shit hits the fan. The lineup was huge. Within the first five tickets, we're already getting wait times. Hey, you know what you have? I'm still yeah, waiting yeah. on steak and fries. Okay, okay. We're just screwed. Okay, we're screwed. It's super busy. We're not properly organized. We're running back and forth. Everything's hectic. I've been waiting over 15 minutes. Not good. We're hungry. We want our food right now. We're midway through lunch service, and the judges have arrived. They'll be assessing our team's dishes, their presentation, and customer service to determine who will win a special advantage for tomorrow's sell day. What's up? Hey. How's it going? Good, good. Big line. I know, it's really intimidating out there, but yeah. we're doing our best. Tell me what you're making the sandwiches with. We're using pork ribs instead of the shoulder. Big difference or not? It took longer to prep because we had to cut it off the right. bones. Pork shoulder has one bone. Hey, hello. Emma? The heat is on. Right. I'm not going to lie, I'm, I'm sensing a little bit of an energy of frenziness in here. To be honest, a little bit, yeah. Look at this lineup. All right, we're going to leave you to it, but you got to figure out a better organization system here. Okay, we'll do. How sloppy are those sloppy Joes? Very sloppy. I need to see it. You'll see it today. All right, give me uh, one of each. Here you go, Steve. Oh, Next yeah. Extra sloppy. What can I get you? I'm going to do the grazing lamb. Okay. And I got. I have to try that steak. And one steak. We're probably looking at about five minutes. We'll be over here. Five minutes, right? Yeah. Five okay. minutes. Okay. We better get their food out in five minutes. 
And then the worst thing of all that could happen on the food truck, the ultimate sin, we ran out of food. Hey, hon, so after this, that's it. I got enough food for the judges to order, and that's about it. Sorry, we're just down to fries. I really, I apologize. You still have customers left. So sorry, guys. Not happy. Not happy. Sending people right next door. Two teams are competing head-to-head -head in downtown Toronto. Whoever makes the most money over two days of selling will win the keys to their dream, their very own food truck. The judges arrive to determine who will win a special advantage for tomorrow's sell day. And while one team keeps up, there we go. the other has run out of food. Sorry, we're just down to fries. Not happy. Sending people right next door. I saw people waiting for Fit to Grill for 45 minutes. Come on. From waiting in line until getting their food. 45 five minutes. minutes? I'm not making this up. It's ridiculous. So let's start off with Fit to Grill's grazing lamb open face pita now. The lamb that they presented us to us was chewy and it was under season. The lamb and the pita combination is a nice, clean food truck, steady dish. We now have our AAA strip loin lettuce wraps. I don't like what's happening up front here. Right. Very hard to eat, which I gotta say, size-wise, greatly improved from what we had during the pitch. This is much more substantial. Which brings us back to the most important question. Is there enough sloppy in the Sloppy Joes with Modern Joes? Spicy Mexican steak still says, not enough slop. I think it's boys and I love the bread. Speaking of the bread, how did the bread do with the sweet West Indian Joe? Well, the reason why I like the bread is it soaks up all the juices. I don't taste any jerk. I don't taste the jerk seasoning in there at all. Teams, you've got five minutes left. Hustle up, get those last orders in. Oh my God, come on, we're almost out of food. I just was like serving and then suddenly my ladle hits the bottom of the stock pot and I just know it's pretty much over. They get okay, their food. everybody, we're out of Joe's, but we do have rights for maybe about four <laughs> orders. We ordered three mixes. Are you going to have enough left for those? I'm so sorry. It's so embarrassing to have to tell the customers that we're out of food and Kamoi has to give people their money back. Fit to grill, modern Joe's, your time is up! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> You've handed over your cash boxes but you're still gonna have to wait one more day before we can tell you what you made. Our judges can tell you though what they thought about your food, presentation, and customer service. So the advantage that's up for grab today is this megaphone. <laughs> Don't be loud. <laughs> it's a simple marketing tool, but it is guaranteed, however, to get people's attention. You can lure more customers to your truck if you use it right. Sound good? All right, so Steak, how did our two teams do with respect to taste? Well, I'll tell you guys, real chefs on both trucks. I think we were a little bit disappointed. I gotta tell you, Fit to Grill, the lamb dish, under seasoned, both of your Modern Joe sandwiches, not enough spices. At the end of the day, we weren't comfortable awarding taste to either one of you. Taste ends in a tie. We'd like to see a little more bold flavors tomorrow. Alphanik, talk to us about presentation. All right. Presentation on a food truck. The food has to look good, but the food also has to be easy to eat. Fit to grill, the lettuce wraps were very cumbersome. Modern Joe's, we loved the mix and match option on your sandwiches that you could get both of them. Presentation goes to Modern Joe's. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. All right, Zane, what sort of things stood out to you when you compared customer service between our two teams? You know, when it comes to customer service, if you don't have any food, you're not serving any customers. But the good news is, you both broke the 11th commandment of food trucks, which is thou shalt not run out of food. So that's a tie. However, a 10 minute wait, that's way too long in the food truck business. But it's still better than a 40 minute wait, which is what some customers suffered at a fit to grill. So oh we're gonna God. give it to Modern Joe's, yes. slightly better than fit to grill. Thank you so much. <laughs> we just won. Drum roll. A megaphone.
Aaron Jones, congratulations. That means you'll get to use this bad boy at tomorrow's final sell day. <laughs> Tomorrow, you're going to be heading to Woodbine Beach. It's a long stretch of sandy shoreline. There's going to be a lot of Toronto's most popular food trucks there as well. Oh my god. But don't put on your beach wear just yet, guys. There's another challenge for you. Tomorrow, you guys are going to have to create an all new daily special to add to your menu. That's crazy. This is going to be an all nighter. Your final sell starts in less than 24 hours. So pack on up. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Woo! Let's go, Kamoi! I feel like today it was a little bit hectic. I think tomorrow we're gonna come with our game faces on, try and work out all the kinks. We get a loudspeaker. That's gonna make all the difference tomorrow. We're gonna get those people off the beach and onto our truck line. Tomorrow we're gonna come back with bigger, badder, bolder flavors. This is our truck. It's coming home with us. The people on Woodbine Beach are ready to get sloppy. Our teams have picked up missing items and fresh ingredients for their new dish and are heading out to Toronto's Woodbine Beach. Let's go, day two, <laughs> on the way. Let's go, day two, here we come. Let's go. Oh my god, come on, day two. We're heading to Woodbine. <laughs> okay, right thing, right thing. Oh my oh, god. This is our chance. Oh We're gonna beat them. Woo! Fintech Girl just blew past us again. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> we don't want to show them where we turn because they might get lost. Let's cross our fingers they get lost again today. <laughs> oh my god, that was Northern Dancer Boulevard. What the <laughs> Okay, turn right somewhere. We were so close, I almost didn't make a mistake today. Look, we're here. Yeah. We're at the beach. Beautiful today. <laughs> Let's start prepping. Let's just kill it today, babe. You want to open All up right. the side? I'll open that up. Why do we always get lost? I'm the worst it's navigator. It's frustrating. Winner's circle, though. That's the street <laughs> we went by. It's a sign. We're here at Kamoy. Where are we going to park? They like took up all the parking Oh my cars. god, Kamoy, you have to parallel park. Oh my god, are you serious? I'll get out and direct you, okay? Oh my gosh, Curl. Okay. Back it up. Back her up. Oh my god. Fit Girl's already here. We need to do I this fast. I know, fast. I'm doing it. Turn, 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 turn. It's turning! Oh my god, this is not... Moy, stop. I'm gonna go ask Menu if they can uh, move forward. Look, they're still trying to park. <laughs> uh, that's gonna be impossible for them to park. <laughs> hey guys, can you move your truck just a little bit forward for us? Yeah, okay, sure. Thanks, buddy. Okay, now pull in and pull back. Swerve, swerve, swerve. Are you serious? Yeah, do it! Come on, you really need to be more drastic with this okay, straightening. Okay, like, I don't want to drive. What's wrong? I don't want to drive the car anymore. I can't even park the truck, girl. Like, how are we gonna even make any money today? This is so f***ed up. for turnaround time, two to three minutes, max. Yesterday, the steak just took way too long to cook. Short ribs, gonna be scoop and serve. Super easy, super quick. For our new menu item today, we're gonna do a poutine with our bird's nest fries. We're gonna have beautiful cheese curds mixed with a bit of mozzarella as well. And to top it all off, you get to choose your own meat. You either get pulled lamb or pulled short rib. That one's gonna be $9. So we bump all the dishes up by $1. We changed the lettuce wrap slightly. We changed it from a lettuce wrap to a lettuce cup. We're using a nice iceberg lettuce now. It's gonna be super crisp, super firm. It's not gonna sog up on us. We're making sure that we're prepped to feed at least a thousand people today. I feel better. It doesn't matter how good we drive the truck, it's how much we can sell on the truck. Our daily special today is the all-American Sloppy Joe. It's classic, it's ground beef, ketchup, tomato sauce, Worcestershire, and Dijon. 
only nine dollars and you get one nice big sloppy joe on a brioche bun oh my gosh our pork shoulder i know today we actually have the products we want we're not wasting time cutting out rib bones i have all the spices for my grandmother's jerk chicken and i'm gonna make it perfectly like how she taught me there's nowhere we're losing on taste Water Joe's, how we doing? Hey, oh, just found us in the front of the truck. <laughs> so happy. You got a huge advantage with this megaphone, but remember this: you got to balance prep with the megaphone. We'll see you soon. You take that. Thanks, Jesse. Thanks, Jesse. <laughs> Woo! Here we come, Woodbine Beach. Let's come into the Modern Joe's food truck, ladies. <gasps> Get some sloppy Joe's from Modern Joe's. Yeah. Hey. We're gonna have some food over there. Modern Joe's, come check us out, okay? Okay. All right, get back to tanning. Thank you. Come check out our food truck, Modern Joe's. That megaphone was amazing. It's a great advantage to have. All right, teams, your two-hour lunch cell begins now. Huge line right from the get-go, and I'm just working super hard, making sure that nobody's waiting longer than two minutes. I need a poutine and fries ordering, please. Poutine and fries, coming up. Our top seller today was a new daily special, the poutine. It's really good. The meat is really tender and juicy, and fries are really crispy as well. We're serving this Sloppy Joe sloppy. We have a full lineup, and we're making those sales. It's going so quickly today. Honestly, we learned from the first time. All American, please. All American. Oh my god, the daily special is like taking over right now. We're it's... selling so many of them. I'm like, all American. And I'm like, here you go. All American. Here you go. All American. Here you go. <laughs> and it just keeps going and going, like nonstop. Tastes great. Tastes awesome. Just has that right amount of mix of salt and sweetness to it. So we're pumping out orders. I hand on an all American. I look up and our line is empty. And Fit to Grill, they have a full lineup. We don't have any customers. We're not making any money. This isn't good. Where are you guys going? You two. You want Sloppy Joe's. So Carl starts hustling. Don't be a schmo. Buy a Sloppy Joe. Don't be a schmo. Buy a Sloppy Joe. Come on, let's go. Call and eat us modern Joe's. You want some samples? Fit to Grill, did you hear that? These people Joe's. I was winning them over and they came back to our truck. Modern Joe comes to fit the grill. We got the best food in the city, guys. I don't need no megaphone. My voice is 10 times louder than a megaphone could ever go. We're midway through the lunch service. And while this face off is all about the sales, our judges want to know have the teams improved for this final sell day? Hi. Hey, hey. Hey, guys. Well, we want a poutine <laughs> truck. And then we'll get a steak wrap. Sure. Who's up? So is that quicker than last time's in? Yeah, you know, a lot of us is right on time. Dude, with the shape you're in, you're eating Sloppy Joe's? Pretty well all the time. Dude, give me a couple then, right here. Let me try the special. Here's your All-American. All-American. Did you see how fast that came out? Dude, and look at, <laughs> hey, this is what we've been talking about. You know what's happening right here? Aww. I'm having a moment. We have Fit to Grill's Daily Special, which is a Holy Trinity poutine. Yeah. Boom! They hammered it. This thing right here was a winner. It looked like a lot of meat. It's delicious too, isn't it? Yeah. I was really happy to see that Fit to Grill switched up the romaine lettuce for the iceberg on the uh, short rib lettuce cup. And the sirloin is gone from yesterday. They went back to the short ribs. Smart move on their part because you can cook the okay. short ribs in advance, scoop and serve. And how about those wait times today? Their, their wait times went way down. So they're giving us an all-American sloppy joe. Yeah. It's got the tomato. It's seasoned well. We said, where's the sloppy? <laughs> and there it is. That's the sloppy joe we wanted to see. Both teams took our advice. They improved the flavors. They improved pickup times. And they didn't run out of food. Teams, your two cell days are officially over. <laughs> Woo! We did it, oh We got it. I know we won, we won it. it. I know we, we won, won it. it. Today we brought the slop. We have no doubt that we won. That truck you see behind us is coming home with us. Getting this food truck would mean the world to us. It would be the start to our life. I just felt so much passion these last couple of days. I feel alive in this truck. It feels like home. <laughs> I want it so bad. I've always wanted to own my own business. I've always wanted to be on the streets, driving a food truck. It means so much to me. It would be meaning that I fulfilled my dreams. I'm still doing it for my grandmother, and I will win the truck. The 
second and final day of selling is over. Time now to reveal a winner. Oh man, super nervous, super nervous. Excited. We're ready to take it and go. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we sold enough to win. It would be such an honor to win this. I would be ecstatic. Modern Joes, fit to grill. You both really rose to the occasion here in Toronto, but only one of you will win the keys to your very own food truck. But before we announce a winner, let's first hear from our judges. All right, well, Modern Joes, you know, on day one, unfortunately, you forgot a lot of the key ingredients to make your jerk chicken. It just didn't work. But on day two, you had all the spices to make an extraordinary dish. Customers were really loving that sweet West Indian Joe. Fit to grill, Emma and Alon. You should have short ribs in the pitch, but on cell day one, you brought strip loin, but you're making it to order. But then day two, totally different story. You showed us the short ribs once again, and you pre-prepared everything. It was scoop and serve, it totally worked, you totally rocked it, well done. Thank you. The teams, at the end of the day, this competition is about who made the most money over the last two days. So it's time to reveal your totals. Modern Joes, on day one, your total was $512. Fit to Grill, on day one, your total was $525. Modern Joes, after two days of selling, your final total was $1,228. Fit to grill. After two days of selling, your final total was $1,000. $1,500. That means Fit to Grill, Alon and Emma, you've won the keys to your very own customized food truck. Oh, you guys are awesome. Oh, my God. Good job. Modern Joes, Carl and Kamoy, I have no doubt that this is not the end of the road for you. Please continue on your journey. Great things are ahead of you. Modern Joe's, Carla Kamoy, you have a great concept. Toronto needs a food truck like yours. Keep up the good work. I want to see you on the streets of Toronto. You guys put forward an unbelievable effort. You should both be very, very proud. We wish you the best of luck. Thanks so much, Jesse. Cheers. It's a great experience. I just felt so much passion these last couple of days. I feel so grateful. Modern Joe's is still coming, guys. Congratulations, you guys did it. Come on in, man. We just won. We won. Yeah. <laughs> I can't Amazing. believe it. I wanted to win this for my grandmother. She'd be proud. Yeah, she'd be so proud of me. Here are the keys, guys. Someone take those. Get out there. Give Toronto what they want. Off you guys go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I really just want to get on the road and start selling. Yeah. No, we are selling food today, boo. Mm-hmm.